modern dairy production practices dictate that efficient management techniques be employed in all areas of the dairy enterprise. For example, rations should meet all of the dietary requirements of the various animals on the farm without providing excess nutrients that would be wasted. Another area requiring efficient practices is that of reproductive management. One important component of reproductive management and the topic of this presentation is that of estrus detection. Without efficient and successful estrus detection, dairy heifers and cows would have extended periods of non-productivity. Estrus detection failure leads to low conception rates or missed breeding opportunities of heifers and cows. For cows, low conception rates and missed breedings lead to extended calving intervals. It's been estimated that if cows are not bred back by day 85 postpartum, the dairy farmer loses from between two and three dollars per day per cow thereafter. The benefits of efficient estrus detection practices are that heifers may be bred artificially to a proven AI sire, and the dairy cows, along with being bred to a proven AI sire, will achieve a calving interval of approximately 12 and a half months, which is considered optimum. The purpose of this presentation is to illustrate and discuss the various behavioral and physical signs of estrus or heat in dairy cattle housed in all female herds. When they are not pregnant, dairy heifers and cows normally have a 21-day estrus cycle. In other words, heifers and cows will show signs of heat every 21 days until they are bred and conceive. The estrus cycle can be divided into four main periods. Proestrus is the stage where follicles on the ovaries attain their final growth and secrete estrogens which will cause the animal to come into estrus or standing heat. Estrus usually lasts about 16 hours and occurs prior to ovulation. Metestrus is the stage in which ovulation takes place allowing for corpus luteum formation. During diestrus, the corpus luteum secretes progesterone. If pregnancy is not established, the corpus luteum will regress at about day 18 of the cycle, allowing for a subsequent estrus cycle to begin. The primary and most dependable sign of estrus is when a heifer or cow stands immobile when mounted by other animals. This is known as standing heat. The duration of standing heat varies greatly between individual cows and heifers and ranges between 6 and 24 hours in length with an average of 16 hours. The best time to artificially inseminate the cow or a heifer is approximately 12 hours after the onset of standing heat. Although standing heat is the surest sign of estrus, it's not absolute. For example, approximately 5 to 10 percent of all pregnant cows and heifers will at times stand immobile when mounted. Therefore, caution must be practiced, even when this sign is observed, so as to avoid inseminating pregnant cows and heifers. Good records will indicate if the animal's been bred or diagnosed pregnant. Other signs of estrus will now be discussed and will be termed secondary signs because they are not as definitive as when an animal stands immobile when mounted. Although these are termed secondary signs, they are still very valuable in determining if an animal may be in heat and the proper timing for insemination. Of the secondary signs, several can be termed physical secondary signs. These signs can be observed by close examination of the heifer or cow and do not rely upon the behavior of the animal or the interaction with other animals at that instant. When heifers and cows are close to heat, they begin interacting more frequently with their herd mates, especially those that are also close to heat. For example, as a result of these interactions, mud may be deposited on the lower hips and sides of an animal receiving mounts. Excessively muddy conditions may make this sign unreliable. Another physical secondary sign of estrus is that of a roughened tailhead and or loss of hair and presence of abrasions about the tailhead.
Loss of hair may be easier to notice in winter when the cow's hair coat is usually longer. These signs would indicate that other animals were attempting to and were probably successful in mounting this animal. Therefore, the heifer or cow with these markings should be watched closely for standing heat. Other physical signs include a reddened and or swollen vulva. Not all heifers and cows show this sign, but its presence will help to identify an animal in estrus. The vulva may also appear to be moist, and the hair on the vulva may be wet and matted. Finally, heifers and cows in heat may have a clear mucus discharge from the vagina which looks very similar to egg white. It usually is seen as a string of mucus hanging from the vulva. It also may be smeared on the tail or buttocks. The presence of the mucus may also be detected prior to standing heat, so it can only serve as a signal to watch the animal more closely. When the cow or heifer in heat mounts other animals, the angle causes mucus to flow out. The remaining secondary signs of heat are termed behavioral because they rely upon the behavior of the animal. When an animal is approaching or is in standing heat, she may be observed bellowing or bawling with greater frequency than would normally be encountered. She will also appear more restless and seek out animals to interact with. Increased activity by animals near or in heat has been a consistent sign observed, but is difficult to detect in casually observed animals. Cows and heifers will often be seen walking the fence line nervously. Various types of interactions occur between animals that are in or approaching heat. These include charging and butting behaviors. Licking behavior is also increased near estrus by both the animal and heat and those interacting with the estrus animal. Animals in heat are licked on the buttocks more frequently than animals not in heat. Licking behavior can be observed at all stages of the estrus cycle, but appears to be increased at estrus. Increased sniffing activity and the flame in response are also associated more frequently with estrus. Animals may sniff the body and particularly the anogenital region of the heifer or cow in or approaching standing heat. It's thought that this behavior is in response to a pheromone produced by the reproductive tract at this time. Estrus animals will often interact together by circling each other, and finally one animal may become orientated behind another in preparation of mounting activity. Again, animals displaying this behavior should be watched more closely for other signs of estrus. Estrus animals will interact with each other in what is termed a sexually active group, while heifers and cows in other stages of the estrus cycle will pay little attention to this group. This group formation may include up to as many as a dozen animals and will aid the dairy producer in his or her estrus observations. Animals in heat will be followed by other heifers and cows. This behavior may lead to subsequent interactions between the two animals such as licking, circling, chin resting or mounting. If heifers and cows are kept in crowded conditions, this behavior may be difficult to detect. Many animals display chin resting behavior, wherein the chin is rested on the top line, usually on the loin or tailhead area of a receiving animal that is probably in or approaching estrus. 
This may lead to mounting activity. Also, the animal initiating the chin resting may be in heat. Mounting activity can be described as when one animal attempts to mount another animal. The mounting animal may be in, approaching, or just past standing heat. Generally, the mounted animal will attempt to escape the mount if she's not in heat, or she will stand immobile if she is in estrus. However, an animal in heat will not stand immobile for every attempted mount. Please notice the mucus discharge from heifer number 12. In addition to the primary and secondary signs of estrus previously described, there are several miscellaneous signs that can be characterized. These signs are the least dependable and occur infrequently. Among these are included depressed appetite and milk production. Careful interpretation of these non-specific estrus signs must be made because they can also be present in diseased states. Frequent urination has also been associated with estrus, but this is extremely difficult to monitor in most dairy operations and again is very non-specific. Another miscellaneous sign is that of metestrous bleeding. This usually occurs one to three days after standing heat, regardless of whether or not the animal's been bred and settled. When metestrous bleeding occurs, it's too late to breed the animal, but the dairy producer should note its occurrence, particularly if standing heat was not observed, so as to expect heat in 16 to 19 days. The behavioral and physical characteristics of estrus depicted in this presentation apply to heifers and cows kept in free stall housing or pasture environments. Animals in tie stalls will exhibit other less noticeable behavior because of their confinement. However, if animals in tie stalls are turned out into a common holding lot daily, then the estrus behavior observed will be similar to that depicted in this presentation. Many factors have an influence on the expression of estrus behavior in a dairy herd. Among these are weather, where either extreme hot or cold conditions will lower the activity of the animals and decrease our ability to detect heat. Also, the type of surface material that the animals must walk on can influence estrus behavior. Slippery cement and other slick surfaces will impede normal expression of heat because the animals are afraid of falling, especially if they have recently fallen and hurt or bruised themselves. In summary, this presentation has illustrated the various physical and behavioral signs of heifers and cows in estrus. Remember that the primary sign of heat is when an animal stands immobile when mounted by herd mates. Standing heat lasts an average of 16 hours so efficient estrus detection practices must be utilized to catch cows in heat. Only then will the full potential of artificial insemination be realized. The secondary signs of estrus all provide clues that the animal may be in heat and indicate that the animal should be watched closely for standing heat. The miscellaneous signs of estrus are very non-specific indicators of heat, but may complement other observations. <laughs>